Hi Pisces, how are you? I'm matchy matchy with my curtain. Didn't realize that <laughs> just now. <laughs> it's the holidays. I hope you guys are doing well. Do indulge, they say. <laughs> Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's see. Okay, wh where you guys are going. Okay. Um, we're using astrology, Vedic, cartomancy, tarot, intuitive. Welcome to the tarot bar. <laughs> started doing that what's your fix that's what i will say now okay welcome to the tarot bar what's your fix here we go i feel your drunken love mm -hmm. <laughs> sun moon rising venus and jupiter here we go 17 to 31st six of swords three of cups the star you probably have an aqua pisces in the in between okay so here we go you feel like it's a headache it's not it's something that you will be um so joyful that it creates a headache you know how a brain freezes right so i mean you know you gulp it right and it's called gulp also right so you drink it it's good it's sweet right and then you get like right so this is that kind of energy i feel like there's something that you have released to the ethers to the universe it can be about relationship reconciliation or something like that with the three of cups or if it's not about reconciliation it's about a party because it's about being party with your friends and it's a holidays right um and then you will receive an acknowledgement about something that you have basically been being bothered so you're being bothered about a, a situation that you haven't spoken of and then it comes to you at the least time that you expect it and of course the star card is about you know getting what you have been um hopeful for and praying and this can result into different things you know because this is going to be in your 12th house you get it the last okay pisces rising moon rising also I mean, moon uh, if you make your moon as your ascendant okay so you will get it at the last because Aquarius is in your 12, okay? So there's something you will get at the last. So expect it somewhere um, before your birthday. We've done something in your other read, right? That your birthday is, something's gonna happen your birthday and something is also happening before your birthday. Mm -hmm. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Here we go, 17 to the 31st. What's going on? Eight of clubs, okay experience of a lifetime that you have been going through for quite a while that has been already taught you a lesson for countless of times okay five diamonds what is this this is like getting a half of something okay what is a half of something you're getting something half okay here or here half they say i'm not sure what that is someone is reaching out to you halfway Okay. But it's good though. Oh, look at that one. Strength card. Can be a Leo that you're dealing with. Okay. But I feel it more because you have two eights over here. So you've been going through this quite a bit again. Okay. And this is the Joker card for me. Okay. If I have diamonds, I always see the Joker. Okay. Meaning it's like, oh, there you go. A flirt. Someone is a flirt. Okay. Because half. Like they don't, they don't reveal everything. They tried to make a joke, you know, but this is a joker, no, her diamonds, with humor, with trying to make you smile, you know, compliments can be, let me see, next to the five diamonds, oh wow, Pisces, are you ready for those? Because it's the end of the year, you might need a new wig to be snatched, two of hearts with the five diamonds, is it a half, or is it a whole, depending on how you look at it, okay, I feel it's a whole, <laughs> okay so can be possible that you're looking at it in a different perspective so you're looking at it and you know it's like the half full and half you know the glass half empty or half full i always don't give care with that glass nobody really has a glass <laughs> i feel like that that whole expression is already gone and dry the water has been dry okay with that half and full empty glass okay it's time to buy a pitcher that's what i say okay so five diamonds, uh, they tell you that they are all about you and their feelings are very strong. And this is more of a gift giving. I'm not sure. Okay, who is this? Is it a co-worker or someone that you're working with or someone that's gonna you're gonna be working with? Okay. 
And you have the hermit. Um, hermit signifies over here, it can be Virgo, of course. Um, but this is about, they're telling you, it's like, oh, haven't seen you in a while. You know, it's like, this This is a person like you've probably seen before, or it can be a reconnection with the Three of Cups. But this is how they're going to start the conversation. It's like, hey, are you new? You know, it's like, who are you? And it's like, I'm, like, either they know you, or they're going to make, you know, that joke. It's just like, you don't know me? You know? And then I'm not sure if you like that, because that's, be, that's for me, that's being fresh. Okay? But we like fresh. <laughs> so it's meaning it can be a new person also. Okay. Under the two of hearts, five clubs. Okay, so they play this game of coy. They're being coy about it. When they tell you that joke, it's just like, you don't know me anymore, huh? You don't remember me? <laughs> so this is this conversation. Like, so they're trying to come back to your life, can be past, and then they make a joke about it. If it's a new person, then you're feeling that this person is playing a game of coy, trying to be um, subtle about it, the, the approach. And this person has been going, doing this also. If it's not, then it's, they're, just, they're just about to. Let me see what's the divide. Oh, here we go. The magician, single. That's good. Ready to give. Okay. Okay. We, we always, you know, we like to vibrate with the magician. The magician here telling you, it's like, would you like to ask, would you like to go out on a date? Magician is about um, giving a different offer, right? Ace of Cups. Okay. So be careful what you choose, okay? Because there's always the one, just saying, okay? We don't want the one, okay? So the Ace of Cups, it can be offered. Ace of Swords, communicate also. Um, this can be a Virgo or Gemini, of course. And again, the infinity symbol is here. They will give you that offer, okay? But remember, this person is single as F. That's why they're, they haven't been dating for quite a while. This can be another person. So they don't know how to date. They don't know. That's why they want to be coy about it because they're being nonchalant about it. They would just want to, you know, so that if they get rejected, they won't look like a fool. Because remember, the fool was before the magician. So they don't want to look stupid anymore. They've learned, okay? So I'm going to continue this reading Pisces. Have a wonderful, wonderful New Year. So it's the 17th to the 31st. I wish you guys have a wonderful holiday. Everything down there in the description box. Um, if you guys uh, need, uh, what do I have there? Oh, the 2019 prediction, that's there. And also the also, um, the tarot class is also there, which we started. Um, and then that's it. Okay, so have a wonderful holiday. And let's see. That's it. I'll see you in New Year's. Bye, Pisces.